Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be working on this pink floral leopard tumbler. So we're gonna start out with a prepped and painted tumbler. I used Rust-Oleum's Candy Pink spray paint to base this. And then we're gonna go in with Aline's Tacket. And you want to make sure when you are applying this that it's pretty smooth. Um, if you leave streaks in the glue, you're going to be able to see that using the Tacket method. It'll be a little bit streaky on the glitter. So just ensure that that's not going to be streaky. You don't have any clumps or anything like that. Um, you can accomplish this by kind of angling your brush almost flat towards the tumbler. Once you've got your glue nice and smooth, no streaks or no lumps, you're going to either hit it with a heat gun for probably about 30 to 60 seconds until the glue is clear, or you're going to let it air dry again until that glue is clear. If you are using your heat gun, I've mentioned this in the past, just make sure that you're not putting your heat gun too close to the glue and you're not heating it in one spot for too long. The glue will bubble up and that's going to show once you apply your glitter with the Tacket method, um, you'll see all those lumps and bumps underneath it. So just make sure you're not doing that. And then once you're ready to apply the glitter, we're gonna use Swak from the newest Peachy palette. I've mentioned before as well, I do have a discount code. I will link that in the description box that is Mitten 10 for 10% off. And then you'll see here that we're gonna apply this glitter and rub it with a gloved hand until it's completely smooth. So you'll notice that it's gritty at first and you wanna rub it until basically it feels just like a stainless cup. So once you've got all of that put down and flattened, you can either go over it with another coat of Tacket and glitter, or if you're ready to move on, if you've got good coverage, you can just move on and go directly into epoxy. Okay, so I've got about 30 mLs of epoxy on this first coat that I just applied directly over top of the raw glitter. I didn't seal it or anything like that. And moving into the decals, if you don't have this already on hand, I will link the digital file for this. You can print this out either on water slide or on clear printable vinyl um, if you would like to use this exact one. Um, this method will work with either of those. In addition to the florals that I've cut out, I also cut out this Bear Trends Digi Designs um, Fuzzy Leopard SVG. It comes with an offset and I'm gonna use both the inner and the outer portions of these decals just kind of sporadically uh, between the florals. I don't want it to be a solid leopard print. I just kind of want a subtle hint of leopard in here. And you'll notice that when I'm starting this, I'm laying the leopard down first. My initial thought was to put some underneath the florals and some over top of the florals. And it was just kind of a pain to have to try and map it out around the leopard spot. So um, the top has a couple that are underneath the decals, but the remainder of those leopard spots are on the top of the uh, florals. So you can do it either way, um, just be cautious, it's a little bit of a pain.
Now that we've got everything applied to the tumbler, I'm just gonna go and do a once over just to make sure all of the um, clear cast is pressed down so you're not gonna have any lifting. Make sure those leopard spots aren't going to lift. And then we're gonna go in with the Posca paint pens and just kind of accentuate the lines that are already existing on these florals. So maybe where there's some shading, we're gonna put that in there or the edges of the leaves, edges of the florals, things like that you just kind of kind of sketch around it don't do too much because it will take away from the design but you kind of want to give some depth and dimension to these florals Once I finished with the line work, I went back and added some leopard spots to the handle and to the base of the tumbler. I wanted to kind of break up that pink glitter without actually adding a decal and taking away from the floral and the leopard that we had going on. So once I added that, I put it on my turner and made sure to apply the polycrylic only to the leopard print spots. Make sure that you're not getting that polycrylic on the ink or the Posca paint pen. Um, if you decide to put that into your floral design, it will smear and rub that pen off. After that first coat of polycrylic was completely dry, I just went back in with a gloved finger and applied a little bit of polycrylic into the empty pink spaces that we've got going on here. I wanted to add a little bit of something to this. I didn't know what it was. And then I decided to sprinkle a little bit of glitter in there. So <laughs> I put some Athena from peachy olive glitters on the tumbler. I let that polycrylic dry so the glitter could adhere to it without moving and then I did go back and put one more coat of polycrylic just over top of where that glitter was laying just to ensure that it's not going to get swirled around in my final coat of epoxy. So once that third coat of polycrylic was dry I just went in with one more coat of epoxy. In total this only took two final coats because of the tacket method and I'm obsessed with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell button if you wanna get notified when I release next weekend's tutorial, and I will see you guys next time.